Michael Parallack, here to entertain you with the help of Audio Slave. I don't fire out your fire anymore. Burn it, falling down so many times before. I don't fly around your fire anymore. Oh. I thought that song was appropriate enough. Uh, Mike B's film reflection, The Mothman Prophecies. <laughs> A film that I uh, never saw before in my life until the other night, and uh, it's supposed to be based on uh, true events, uh, folklore, I guess, uh, from something that happened in the 60s or something, or it started in the early 1900s, okay, some pl a place called Pleasant Point, Point uh, West Virginia. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it was a good, all in all, I'd say it was a pretty interesting film, uh, <clears throat> it's uh, basically uh, dealt with how human, uh, be, how the human psyche deals with grief. <clears throat> Starring uh, Richard Gere. I always thought he, you know, was a decent actor. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I like the analysis uh, by the uh, leak character. Um, and when, when uh, um, the uh, Richard Gere's character is inquiring about their uh, their you know their motives the, the the entity's motives or intent or even questioning is it God and this uh, leak uh, character uh, says uh, compares it to a window washer on a skyscraper and uh, says uh, their viewpoint of a car crash down you know in, on Main Street. Uh, um, um, they probably would have a uh, pretty uh, unique view, as in they could see what was going on, like the next block over. <laughs> when the Richard Gear, especially when the Richard Gear character inquires of whether or not this entity, in fact, is God. Matter of fact, uh, uh, boy. By the way, spoiler alert. <laughs> But matter of fact, uh, Richard Gere's character goes on to say, I, I, oh, there's no question that they're more advanced than us, meaning human beings, then uh, <laughs> why don't they just come right out and tell us what they want or what, what their motives are? They're ex explain themselves. And the uh, leak character guy says, uh, uh, yeah, we are more advanced than cockroaches. You ever try explaining yourself to one of those? <laughs> <laughs> I like that little. That was my favorite part of the philosophizing of the movie. <laughs> like I said, spoiler alerts. I didn't see the uh, bridge sequence at the, towards the end coming. I, I honestly did. I, I thought it would probably involve something at the chemical factory where the uh, Gordon uh, Smallwood uh, uh, worked. Um, I thought the Gordon. Uh, I thought the Gordon character played by Will William Patton. Uh, most uh it was probably the most unfortunate character in the story especially if he really thought this thing was god <laughs> then uh <clears throat> just before the uh, bridge sequence he gets a phone call which is either his dead wife paid by by uh was it deborah messing um and uh, or the sergeant <laughs> played by laura uh linney <laughs> Anyways, entertaining film. Here's my two cents. If I ever got a message from a uh, supernatural entity, <laughs> I'd be like, okay, thank you. I'll uh, stay clear and protect myself from all that. <laughs> See, I have that luxury. I don't have a family to worry about. <laughs> Matter of fact, if I did have a family, I, honestly, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> especially due to the uh, direction that the liberal globalists are uh, taking the human race in. <laughs> Anyways, the Mothman Prophecy. Was it 2001, I think this came out? Somewhere around there. The early 2000s. Yeah, 2002. <clears throat> uh, by the way, uh, that song that I was singing at the beginning is uh, on uh, Revelations. <laughs> 
uh, Audio Slave album. <laughs> yeah, I like that band. 